Hello everyone, this is Koiku from Next Gen Windows, and today I'm going to be doing a, another Windows 8.1 app review. Obviously I'm using Windows 10, but a Windows 8.1 app review, and this app, it is Fitbit. Now this is the official application for Fitbit. I actually now own a Fitbit, so I can actually show you exactly how it works um, in terms of function and design-wise. So first thing you're going to notice right here is on this first tab the dashboard you have basically a bunch of things that relate to your Fitbit and your current things so for starters here this is the number of steps you have this is the number of miles you've moved which is in conjunction with the number of steps the number of floors you've climbed uh, the number of calories you've burned and the number of minutes you've been active which this is pretty accurate because I was actually just at the gym uh, and running a lot for like 10 minutes as well as doing other things uh, very active never stopping to move um, also, you can also track how long you slept. You can you can track. Uh, it just gives you like um, awards for how many steps you you walked that day. So I walked over five thousand steps already as of like four thirty seven p.m. Eastern. And then you have today's activity in terms of steps, in terms of calories burned, or in terms of how many things you have ran. Actually, let me see. What is this? I think in, in terms of running or something like that. But you can see all this is just on the dashboard itself. You can also see here that these are my friends here on Fitbit. Uh, you might not be able to see it very well because I blurred them out just for security reasons. Uh, you also see here um, how many calories I have intaken. Now, the only way that it can track the amount of calories that you can you have taken is simply by uh, inputting what kind of food you've ate, you've eaten, and how many calories you think it was. So it's really kind of hard to track this but this is not all obviously a review on the Fitbit itself this is more of the app so you can track calories uh, how many pounds you you have to go before you hit your goal so I'm trying to lose eight pounds and then uh, how many calories you have left in your day which I have 1660 and then also how many cups of water you have to drink left in that day so I have 64 ounces I actually haven't even like inputted anything in here in terms of these two things here in fact most of these things here I don't have anything to input because this, I wish I had the scale. Uh, otherwise, I would use this more. Um, but that's just what Fitbit does. And then your current challenge is work week hustle for me. Because someone invited me to work week hustle. And that allows you to see, uh, if I click on this, you can see what rank I am in terms of some other friends and people that I know. Uh, and then you have little things like status messages saying whether you passed someone or someone passed you or just how the competition is going so it makes it really interesting now moving on to the friends tab you can see the friends list here you can see how many friends I have here you can see me uh, you can see you know all the friends list and it's pretty nicely laid out so if I click on someone else it lays out the same interface you can give them a face and things you can give them a like I don't know what this face is but you can get you can click on that you can click you can send them a message and you can even add some of their friends to your friends list if you happen to know them so it's an interesting thing and then last thing you'll see here is this plus symbol here the plus symbol allows you to uh, log activities so that's what it means that running symbol is to log activity so you can log you can see a log um, of what activities you have done and obviously I haven't logged anything yet so I can't really do things like that. You can log your weight, log your water intake, food. And this is basically where you log all those things that I was showing you that I haven't been doing. I've been obviously just using it for like tracking my steps and my uh, floor climbs. So it's a cool application. It's nicely laid out. A few things that I have noticed, however, is that when you are back here, when you get a notification in this corner here and it pops up and it says someone has at someone wants to add you as a friend, you can't really accept them as a friend on here. Um, and, and you can't really, even on the website of Fitbit, you can't even search for people to add as friends. You more have to uh, find their link that they post that's on their profile, which they have to post it so you can see it. And then you can click on their link and then add them as a friend. You can't just simply, you know, have a search bar here and just search for someone's name and then find their profile, you know, hit add friend. That would make it much easier for people to be able to find people to, you know, compete with on this application. I've met a bunch of, you know, people that I probably never meet in my entire life uh, but I've met quite a few people that actually do a lot of things for this you can see right here this person has 81,158 steps I have 64,000 and then so on like that so it's just an interesting application that allows you to track all the things you've done on your Fitbit now in terms of Fitbit what they have available right now is they have quite a few things available some of the few are the Fitbit charge the Fitbit charge HR which is the Fitbit charge 
uh, heart rate sensor. Um, they have the Fitbit Aria scale, which is the scale to track your weight. They have the Fitbit Surge, which is pretty much their smartwatch. Um, it's touchscreen and does all this stuff. It's more advanced than all the other ones, like $250. They have the Fitbit Flex, which is their basic model uh, watch type thing. It doesn't have a screen, it just has three dots that show up. Um, they have the Fitbit, um, uh, f not Force, but they have the Fitbit one you clip onto your clothing, uh, and they have some other things for Fitbit, um, just ranging in prices. That way anyone can get into Fitbit and use it, uh, depending on their budget. I have the Fitbit Charge. Um, because that's pretty much it's good enough for me but you can see just having the Fitbit charge which all it does is track your steps in fact looking at it right here all it does is say your tell the time track your steps uh, track your how many miles you move track your calories burned your um, floors and I set an alarm on it just having those things on there um, I'm able to fill out a good amount of this application just to you know manage my fitness levels and going deeper into this thing, if you click this right here, it says sync your Fitbit right there. So I'm not going to sync it yet. Uh, I'm actually going to use the Android app really quick. And I'll show you guys when it updates on the computer. Let me try to bring it up really quickly. And if I go back, let's see. Android application seems pretty smooth itself. But there you go. It's syncing. And it's sinking. You should see a difference right now. It says I sunk it 26 minutes ago when I came back from the gym. Uh, so I can hit sync now. And it should be syncing now. The Bluetooth, you have to have Bluetooth on. There you go. It updated. So you can see right here. Eventually you'll see that all these stats update. Uh, and you'll see in this corner, you'll, it'll tell you that, you know, I have updated. So let me see if I can even let's see. Let's see if it'll work. Uh, it's not updating yet, but when it updates, you'll see that these steps have been updated. In fact, I think it has updated because yeah, yeah, it has it has slightly updated by like ten steps uh, at, at least on the Android app. It hasn't showed it on here, but the one thing that you will notice that you gotta have in order to really use this is Fitbit. They give you this little dongle. It's almost like a Bluetooth dongle, but it's only for their Fitbit watches and things. And it allows you to sync your Fitbit to this this application here, this Windows 8 application. And if you have Bluetooth on your computer, you still can't sync your Fitbit unless you plug in the dongle into the USB drive. So the dongle is pretty small, but it's like the size of every other um, every other Bluetooth little dongle. It's tiny, uh, and yeah, it's it's really tiny, and it's really annoying how if you don't have Bluetooth, if you have Bluetooth on your computer, which most computers do you still can't sync it unless you plug in that thing to one of the USB ports so if you have like a surface or something you have to use up that one USB port on the surface uh, and plug it in temporarily to sync your dongle in which case this application kinda takes a while as you can tell to update um, what they have so let me see it's, yeah, it's still not updating I don't even know why and then another thing you can see here is my profile so if I click on my name right there there you go now it updated um, it looks like when I clicked my profile it updated but now that it updated you can see it updated a little bit Obviously, I'm only adding like 10 or so steps, but when I click my profile, you have what I currently have sunk to this. So two minutes ago, I sunk the Fitbit charge. You can see my name when I joined Fitbit. I joined it a long time ago when I saw the app was available before I even got a Fitbit two years ago. Um, more than like less than two years ago, like a year and a half ago. Um, you can see your goals, which in here I've typed in, you know, some goals I want to do. Uh, you know, how many food deficit, food calorie deficit in terms of my diet. Um, floors climbed every day. I want to climb 10 floors, which I can do in like when I leave here after this review. Um, you can see your steps, distance, calories burned. You can edit all of these numbers um, anytime you want, so that you can meet your, you can try to meet your goals. In which it will ping you that you have say 500 steps to go to meet your goal, or two floors to go to meet your goals. So please, you know, complete your goal. It, it will tell you all of that, and it's really cool that it shows you that. Um, advanced settings here you can see the food you can see the country you're in so you can set your country a food database they have you know US uh, Asia they have Spanish Hisp Spanish uh, Deutschland or wow I can't feel it's German let's go with German um, and then they have the time zone that you can put in the units that the measurements will be in because obviously only US uses imperial units we use most people use the other units which is um, you know centimeters and kilometers and things like that but it's it's a really well thought out application it just has a little bit of quirks here and there that I wish were you know 
were, were better, like being able to search for friends on the application, being able to do some little things on the application that uh, you're not able to do. And last thing I'm going to show you guys is how it looks like when I actually shrink it. So as you can see here, uh, it doesn't shrink fully when you try to do it. So let me do half screen. I'm using Windows 10. I just watch Mythbusters. Uh, so when you try to sync it, or when you try to shrink it, you can see by the time you get to here, about here, this is the smallest it can go before it'll show this that you need to make it bigger in order to run the application. Other than that, it fills out pretty well. It just goes straight across and then eventually it can fill the whole screen. And you can see you can't go really small. You can only go about half. So this is a 1920 by 1080 screen. Well, not necessarily. It's a bigger screen. I set the resolution lower. But you can only fill the screen. You can only open the application about at minimum half. Obviously, then it can go full like 4K and 21 by 9 being like 2560 by 1080, which is like a movie theater cinema qual cinema format um, that this monitor has. But you can go that big and go about halfway on your monitor and it'll still open up fully. Otherwise, it's a really nice application. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it and even get a Fitbit. If you want to even add me on Fitbit, I can even post my um, post my Fitbit friends request, friends link on the link description below that way you guys can just add me and we just have a huge club of people just uh you know competing with each other daily going to the gym staying active and things like that um so yeah this was an app review on fitbit the application for windows 8.1 they have a windows phone application as well it works just as well and the good thing about the windows phone application is that you can use your bluetooth um on your phone to sync your device that way you don't have to have that dongle and wait till you get to a computer in order to sync. So it's a cool application. I definitely recommend you guys taking a look at it. It is free on the Windows Store, so take a look at it on the phone and the desktop. Uh, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you guys later.